Well, more than 1,200 FFA members gathered at the 86th annual Louisiana FFA Convention in Monroe. Every summer, FFA students from across the state meet to showcase their skills and celebrate their accomplishments in agriculture. And this year, the organization honored someone very close to the heart of the Twyla team. Strobe lights and pulsing tunes fill the air as teenagers dance to the beat. It may look like a hip new dance club, but this is actually a meeting of the future leaders of the ag industry. Louisiana FFA President Kristen Wall says the state convention is a time for FFA members to get together and celebrate their hard work from the past year. We'll have speaking contests going on and then they'll attend all of our sessions, which are educational, but you know, we are a student-led organization, so we know how to make it a good balance between educational and entertaining. So really, it's just a time for all of us to come together once a year and have a lot of fun, but still a good learning experience while here. From livestock judging to parliamentary procedure, Wall says the FFA organization offers a variety of programs to give every student a chance to succeed. It is so diverse and there is something that everyone can find that they like. I mean, we are supporting agriculture education and just as agriculture is so diverse, so is our organization. I mean, you don't have to be a speaker, you definitely don't have to be a farmer, you don't have to have come from an agriculture background to be an FFA. There truly is a place for anyone. It gives them the opportunity to be part of an agriculture family. We're one of the few organizations that accept and embrace students from the highest of performance in the class to the lowest performance in the class, and everyone's equal in FFA. Kathy Connerly is the Executive Secretary for Louisiana FFA. She says the annual convention is not only a time to recognize students, but also adults who support agriculture education in the state. The honorary state degree recognizes individuals who have rendered outstanding service to Louisiana agriculture. This year they awarded the state's highest honor to the late Michael Dana. For 18 years, Dana shared the stories of Louisiana's farmers and ranchers as the host of This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. His wife, Renee Dana, accepted the award on his behalf. He was such an advocate. You know, he has passion for agriculture and for people. You know, he's such a people person and it just made you feel like, you know, Louisiana Agriculture has an advocate and he wants to tell the whole world about what we do and the good things that we have going on in our state. And I think, and that's what really drew people to Mike is that he was so genuine in his dedication and his passion for people and for agriculture. FFA members also participated in a community service initiative during the convention. Students volunteered to package meals for senior citizens at the Northeast Louisiana Food Bank in Monroe. And every, every time I do a story with anything to do with the FFA, mm -hmm. I'm always impressed by you know, how great of speakers those kids are and just how you know polished they are. I know, they're very outgoing. I'm really touched by what they did for Mike Dana. I'm glad that you and his wife Renee and uh, Carrie Martin were all able to go out there. It was, it was a, a good thing to witness.